Hello, Cootie Crew, and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is kind of like a haul, except I already have all of this jewelry. So is it more of like a collection? I don't know. Someone suggested I do a plug haul, which of course I really, really want to do. And I've only done one of those so far on my channel, just because I keep stretching and then I only get like a couple pairs in each size just because I haven't actually reached my goal size yet. But it turned out to be a very perfectly timed request. So thank you so much for requesting this video while I am at a half inch size because I still have all of the joy right now from the 12 millimeter and 13 millimeter sizes, which are both half inch. So welcome to my half inch jewelry collection. If you're new to my channel, I've been stretching my ears and I have my whole ear stretching journey documented here on my channel. I'm currently at 13 millimeters. During this video, I will go ahead and link everything that I can in the description. These plugs that I'm gonna go over first, however, are from a local piercing shop, so I won't be able to really leave a link for them. But everything else I got online, so I will go ahead and leave links down below. Already, without further ado, I will go ahead and tell you about these that I have in my ear right now. I got these babies at a local piercing shop a long time ago, but at that point, half inch was my goal size. So I got these back in like November for like a Black Friday thing. These are stone. I don't know exactly what kind of stone. They're not as heavy as I would have expected for them being the size that they are. They feel about as heavy as my glass plugs, just a little bit heavier and they aren't exactly symmetric, which is something that I love, but I know not everybody does. Just because the nature of their material, it does vary on each plug. They're nice and really smooth. The only thing is that the front of the plug is pretty large compared to the 13 millimeters. So I feel like it kind of dwarfs the rest of my lobe a little bit. But overall, I really love them, and they have a little bit of a blue tint to them, which is my happy color. Next up, I have these gold screwback tunnels. These are a 12 millimeter size, and the screwback just means that the one end screws on. So it's not really double flared. You can put just this one end into your ear and screw the other side on. And I found it so much easier to put these in if I screw in from the front, just a little pro tip from me there. Ta -da! But now that I'm at a 13 millimeter size, I can actually just put them in and out like double flare without having to worry about the screw back part. No surprise here. I love them because they're gold. Of course, tunnels just show off the size of your ears a little bit more because, you know, you can actually see through it. Plus, I just think they're really simple and elegant and they work really nice when I'm trying to go for that look a little bit more. Another thing that I love about having these metallic tunnels is that I can put hoops in them um, and that looks really nice. The only thing is these are obviously silver instead of gold. If I had gold hoops, I'm sure it'd be even cooler. But even just this, I really like. If it wasn't a metallic tunnel, I don't think it would work as well with a metal hoop. I don't know because I haven't tried it. But this look I think is really cute. I have it on my list to go get some more hoops and to get seamless hoops instead of ones that have the uh, like the clicking close part because when I wear these though they tend to fling upside down so that that's on the bottom so I will be getting a lot of seamless hoops to kind of play around with wearing tunnels a little bit more. Next up I have these black and white I believe they're bone and horn plugs. They are double flared. So these are actually for a 12 millimeter size, but they actually fit really well right now at the size I'm at at 13 millimeters. And I mean, how cute are these? They're so cute. And the fact that most of my wardrobe is black or white or black and white means that they work with so many of my outfits. They are super duper lightweight, so it doesn't feel like anything at all is in my ear. Light as a feather. They have the lightness and the texture more of plastic so when i i know when i first went to buy bone and horn plugs i wasn't really sure what to expect um but really it just feels like smooth plastic i have a lot of black and white striped things just because i absolutely love that look together with the two contrasting colors yeah so that's these guys and i love them 
Next are these beauties. Told you that I like the black and white stripe look. These I think are my favorite because again, I just love this pattern, but also the fact that they are so bold. And you guys know that I love bold jewelry. These are glass. I have them in 13 millimeter size, which is what you can see in right now. And they are really chunky. So if I do whip my head around, they do feel pretty heavy in my ears. But if my head is stationary, it doesn't bother me. Wearing these babies makes me feel like a boss. I feel like if my hair was down, they would just get covered and wouldn't have the same effect. But when my hair is up, it really draws attention to my ears. And I, I just love how flashy they are. Because they are glass, I mean, they could be fragile here at the end. I haven't really run into problems with that yet. Yeah, I just, I love these so much and I'm pretty sure my reaction when I put them in was to just gush all over them. And that's still pretty much my reaction every time I put them in. Okay, next up we have the glass plugs that you have seen me wear a ton on my whole ear stretching journey. Again, I love getting these in white because normally what I'm wearing is either black or white and I just really like how these plain white plugs look with most of my outfits. Here I have went in, I got one of these in both 12 millimeters and 13 millimeters and I also have some ready to go for 14, 15 and 16 millimeters as well as I size up in my stretching. I know I rant about these like probably more than I need to but these have been amazing for dead stretching. Glass has been awesome for stretching in general just because it is such an amazing material for newly stretched ears or healing ears. Highly recommend using glass. And not only that, but the end is uh, rounded, so it's really easy to use as a stretching method because it acts kind of like a mini taper for a bit of a smoother stretch up. They're pretty plain, but I still really love how they look and they are very, very cost effective. Last but not least is this pair of glass plugs. These were pretty important in my last stretching video because these were in between 12 and 13 millimeters and I used them to dead stretch on my way up to 13 millimeters. Unlike the other glass plugs I already showed you, these actually have a flat end, not a rounded end. So I'd be a lot less likely to use it for dead stretching for a larger size increase. Um, but since it was like a half a millimeter or something like that, it worked out perfectly. As you can see, the back part here has a little bit of black glass on it, which just really makes the blue swirl pop in when it's in your ear. Again, anything with a little bit of a blue tint, I really like just on myself. And I just think they're really cute. They have some nice dimension and it was just a nice break from having the plain colored glass plugs for a little bit. For 14 millimeters, I got them but in purple instead of blue. They're glass, so they're a typical glass plug in the normal weight and texture of them. I think they're cute. This was really fun to put them all on at once and just see how much of a difference it makes with just one outfit, which pair I'm wearing. I guess I haven't really done that so much before. I usually pick the pair per outfit, but I wanted to pick a nice neutral colored shirt just to see how each of them pop a little bit different. I don't know, I thought it was fun. I know I already let you know which one was my favorite, but if you guys have your own favorite out of this collection that I showed you, go ahead and let us know. If you have any questions about any of the pieces or maybe something you'd like to hear about in the next uh, haul or collection video similar to this, please go ahead and leave that in the comments. Really any sort of feedback or if you guys want to share your experience around ear stretching, the comment section is awesome. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. If this was entertaining or helpful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Thanks again for the suggestion of this video. And if you guys have any other suggestions for future videos, of course, you're always welcome to leave them in the comments. If you're interested, go ahead and check out all the other videos that I have on my channel, including my ear stretching series. And if you wanna stay tuned for the future of my ear stretching journey, please subscribe. Seriously, thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'm so grateful for you. <sighs> um, stay sweet everyone and I will see you all next week. Mwah!